now we are developing something more interesting and that is called ngl ngl so isro has already started working on that that is called next generation launch vehicle next generation launch vehicle so we are developing we have not yet developed So what ISRO is claiming that payload capacity, payload capacity will be up to 10 ton to GTU, huge, है ना? सीधा four tons से ten ton, up to ten tons, यानी कि expandable है. And it will have three stages. Three stages to the orbit. What they call it? Three stages to the orbit. That means this system is going to be three stages and it will reach to the orbit. One of the biggest thing that we know about it that this NGLV is going to use semi cryogenic engine. Semi cryogenic engine. Right? You know that cryogenic engine we are using in GSLV Mark II and Mark III? In rocket science, the most complex engine technology is what? Cryogenic. Right. So here we can simply say cryogenic engine. I mean, just additional information I am giving you. And this cryogenic engine, that cryogenic engine uses fuel ke form mein kya use karte hai? liquid hydrogen minus 253 degree C per. An oxidizer, you know oxidizer? Oxidizer ke form a liquid oxygen. Minus 183 degrees. Right. Because in a space there is no oxygen, there is no atmosphere. So if you want to burn something in a space, you have to carry the oxidizer as well. You get my point? And this cryogenic engine is used, being used where? Kaha kaha use kar rahe? The cryogenic engine is in GSLV Mark II and LVM. So two systems already using it. India is only sixth country in the world to develop cryogenic engine technology. Right? So top five country they have done it. And India was the sixth one to develop it. That is why we are having world class rocket system right now. Right? So that is called cryogenic. Cryo means what? You know that cryo means very low temperature. Any temperature that is below minus 150 degree will be known as cryo. And you can see like fuel is at minus 253 degree. It's a cryo temperature. And oxidizer, the liquid oxygen is at minus 183 degrees C. Again, it's a cryo temperature. So that is called cryogenic engine. You know that hydrogen is the best fuel available. And if you use hydrogen as a fuel in cryogenic system, then rocket is going to be very powerful. Right? So GSLV Mark II, LVM3, that is possible only because we developed cryogenic engine in 2014. Right? And after that only we are seeing that all the new rockets have started coming in. In the last one decade only, we got GSLV Mark II and GS, I mean LVM3. Right? What is the difference between cryogenic and semi cryogenic that we are going to discuss? In semi cryogenic engine, the fuel is kerosene. Right, an oxidizer is liquid oxygen at minus 183 degree. So, why it is semi cryogenic engine? Because they are both were at cryo temperature. Here, only one is at cryo temperature. Low temperature is needed only at one place, that is liquid oxygen. If you are using fuel, kerosene to kerosene, liquid form. Mein. And ISRO has tested semi cryogenic engine. Right. So 
तो टेस्टिंग हैज बिन डन तो डेवलपमेंट एंड टेस्टिंग डेवलपमेंट एंड टेस्टिंग हैज बिन डन तो इफ दे आस्क एनी क्वेश्चन अबाउट एनजीएल तो पहला एक्सपेंडेबल लॉन्च निकल है अप टू टेन टन इट कैन कैरी सेकेंड एलिमेंट दैट कुड बी इंपॉर्टेंट टू रिकोगनाइज द राइट आंसर दैट दिस टेक्नोलॉजी विल बी यूजिंग अ न्यू इंजन टेक्नोलॉजी दैट इज कॉल्ड सेमी क्राइजेनिक इंजन इन सेमी क्राइजेनिक इंजन वी आर रिप्लेसिंग हाइड्रोजन विद कैरोसिन ऑक्सीडाइजर वी आर कीपिंग सेम यू गेट मी पॉइंट इट इज गोइंग टू बी कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव एंड control management construction this all will be easier cryogenic is a very tough technology but semi cryogenic means some of the things will be under ease right moreover now a things has started coming in that nglb might be reusable launch vehicle also but it's not very clear hai na so you can write one more point it may be reusable launch vehicle it may be reusable launch vehicle reusable launch vehicle but then it's i mean isro has not done published anything on its website about it it's all we know because of the statements given by the isro scientists in a press conferences and everywhere right but do cheez to clear hai expandable launch vehicle up to 10 tons and then semi cryogenic in charge right so right now we have done semi cryogenic engine testing onto the ground ngl we launches has not been done abhi tak kuch bhi nahi kiya aapne isme 